Any movement's better than no movement, and especially as you are starting to get older, you want to be encouraging people to stay active, to keep their blood flowing. The common denominator is that we're all ageing, okay, and at its core, it's not just about people moving, it's about ticking the boxes to get them active, get them out of their homes, get them socialising. So we talk about the healthy ageing pie, and that's where you have a balance of the physical, the um, intellectual and the emotional, so that we're challenging all parts of the body. It's a very holistic um, approach. You're getting people to move, you're getting people to think, keep their brains active, and also to connect. And I think it's that connection that really um, makes Roll Back the Clock very different. One of the ideas that we have when we're doing these exercise programs too is that we offer lots and lots of different options. So you start at a really base level and you build layer by layer. That allows people to accomplish at a level that they feel that they can manage and then they're able to progress. And often they're doing it before they even, even realise um, that they're doing it. If you make them feel safe um, and confident that they can move, then you know, you've got their trust and then they, they're, they're able to move forward with you. Ageing isn't something that we should feel um, is a burden. It's not something to be, you know, embarrassed about. Ageing is a privilege and I'm in awe of these fantastic people who are coming and sharing, you know, they've, they've had these amazing lives and uh, I certainly really enjoy working with the, with the people that we've um, met through Roll Back the Clock.